What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Ham Radio Crash Course. Welcome to Saturday. I call this the makeup stream. We're going to make that Christmas line antenna shine. And uh, <laughs> we're going to have some fun doing it. Uh, and I've already tested the lights just before the show. So we have we have proof, at least I do. But who knows what happens live? You know anything can happen live. Big shout out to Kyle, AA0Z, out here on YouTube for doing a wonderful trivia before this live stream for the new year. That was a lot of fun. So thanks again, Kyle. And pouring another beer here, so you can just keep listening to music while I get started. <laughs> Man, so we got to talk a little bit about what's happened since uh, last week. This is some fun. By the way, if you're uh, if you're a Patreon supporter, then you're going to get a newsletter drop here in a couple hours, and it talks a little bit about my trials and tribulations on getting this antenna back up on the air. Uh, there was a couple things I did differently, and it's it's working now. I got heard on FT8 to Northeast Canada. Will we be able to continue that? Don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, all right. A couple of things to mention before we get started here. Where is that? <laughs> Why did that not come up? I always have these problems. There you go. There's what it is. Uh, HamTactical.com, the home of the merch store. Go check that out if you're interested in some ham radio gear, all jokingly, lovingly created by my wife. We still have the Christmas stuff up there, but that FT8 neoprene bag is pretty cool. And I am wearing the FT8 zip-up hoodie. Leia gave this to me as a gift. So my own merch was given to me on Christmas as a gift. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It it shows up a little wacky on uh, the green screen, but I think that's even cool. Hey, Andy, thank you so much uh, for asking. My dad's okay. Uh, he broke his arm the day after Christmas in my front yard chasing the boys around. He is uh, 71 years old, and he took a tumble, and he broke the upper part of his humerus, and he's still in a sling. Uh, the VA has been a little funky working with us on getting him taken care of, but uh, we should get him... Uh, hopefully all taken care of early next week. Unfortunately, his doctor is out of town. So, hey, thank you for asking, though. I appreciate it. All right. One more thing to mention. We've got a couple of things going on for the New Year's. I, we're going to do the after chat. So we we missed that last week because it was Christmas. We're doing the after chat this tonight. So we're going to do that for a couple of hours, and then we're all going to go watch Ham Radio 2.0's live stream. And he's going to ring in the new year in style over there. He's on Central Time, so I think the, the ball drops to them 10 p.m. local to me. But, you know, depending on where you live, uh, it's still going to be fun no matter where you're at. So have fun with that. Please do follow the playlist. I posted it on the uh, stream there as well. So very good, very good. Okay. All right, so I've already kind of hit up some of the info. I'm using a, a tuner into my amp or on the other side of my amp. We're using a 50-foot Roan push-up mast and uh, just that, that vertical line that looks kind of weird. Those are Christmas lights. And it shoots across my home kind of like that into another mast where there, I, have, uh, I have added a standoff, which gives me a couple of feet away from the side of my roof. And then that goes down to a 49 to 1 unun. Bit of a different design than I've done in the past. And now... <laughs> jokingly i get the lights all going and i bring up that security cam that i had that's that's right there on the mast i moved it to the the mast of my step ir i get it all hooked up i turn it on and this is what i see <laughs> i don't know what happened it's been raining all day so it's fogged up uh but you can still kind of make out the string of lights so we're going to give it a test here in a second and hey thank you jason for uh gifting those uh memberships that's a really cool feature of oh i can't click the I can't, I can't click that you did that. Oh, that sucks. Let's do that. Uh, can I do that? I can't do that either. Wow. Okay. So the, our, our chat plugin doesn't uh, allow us to click that, but thank you very much, Jason. Ham Radio 2.0. Appreciate you and uh, have fun on your stream for the new year here. So, all right. Christiana, thank you for uh, mentioning the chat there for Jason and everybody else and uh, and me. So thank you as well. Everybody watching, I appreciate you. All right, let's do a quick tune-up. It's a little light out still. Oddly enough, the la when we did this last year, it was dark already. So I don't know what's going on. But let's take a test here. Do we see light? Hey, there's light. Ah, we got light. <laughs> All right, light has been achieved. 
Go well, tell him to put him back in the room. Okay. Tell him to put him back in the room. Dad said. Close the door, please. And of course, as always, we have multiple things going on. We're hosting a, a birthday party today. And uh, so Leia had to go pick something up. And I'm here with the kids and my dad with a broken arm trying to do a live stream. There's light. So that's the first thing. Uh, that was at... 50 watts of power. Uh, you can see that there. I will display that. So let's let's do a little FT8. We'll bring this back over here, and I will find an empty spot on the frequency, and hopefully you guys will jump on in if you see me. Appreciate you doing that. Let's see if we can make some contacts here. All right, here we go. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, this was, let's see. Let's go back. There you go. That was an hour and 35 minutes ago. Uh, what we're able to do with the Christmas lights at 50 watts. So not bad, not bad at all. Let's drop that way down. I'm using grid tracker to track my progress here. We'll drop this down to 35 minutes. Waves is harmful. Hey, Christiana, thank you for the super chat. And thank you, George, for so joining us on the membership program. And there's Christiana's. Thank you so much. Hey, hey, I'm doing my live stream right now. Go inside. You can't be running around with golf clubs. Go inside. Go inside. All right, K7OSI. Go inside. He's going to kill me. He's not going to kill you. No. Not as great. We're, we're slowing down a little bit. Let's see. Are we getting light, though? Keep an eye on that lower right-hand side of the screen. And sorry for the... I don't know what's going on with the uh, the water there. Hey, we've got light. We definitely got light. Don't worry, it's going to get brighter. Trust me. Uh, vape. Vape Thoven. Vape. The pep. The Pethoven. The Pethoven. Happy New Year, KN6RSY. Just worked Argentina with 10 watts and first floor apartment with a sideways V. Right on. <laughs> Very good. Hey, we got our first contact. You are K7OSI for today. Thank you so much. Well, you're always that, but uh, appreciate you making a contact, man. All right. <clears throat> Let's do the thing. We're going to go up to 75 watts of power. Negative 12? That's not bad. That's not bad. I'll take it. I'm going to go get the hose and like spray up at the, the 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 camera right now. I don't know what the bird probably hit the, the camera. Took a dump on it. Ah, a little brighter. A little brighter. Don't worry. They're going to get brighter. Brighter still. All right. Hey, thank you, AI5DD. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing fine. My dad could be doing a little bit better, though. Uh, Jody, I kind of did, but I'm happy to kind of mention it while I'm talking and while we're making some contacts here. We're only doing 75 watts, so this shouldn't blow up the antenna or anything. Uh, so I've got a 7610. That's my HF radio. It's connected to my computer. And above that is a tuner. It says LDG on the side of it. Uh-oh, SWR is going up. That's not good. Okay. That's the first sign of uh, not good. And we've got that running out to a Christmas line of literally a Christmas line of wires. We get her back, get back over here though to make sure that. Oh, that SWR is coming up. <laughs> this tuner might be uh, not long for this world. I've done this for a couple of years now on this tuner, and I'm not treating it very nicely. Drake Duty, thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate it. Let's keep an eye on those lights for a second here and make sure they're still coming on. Yeah, they're all still lit. 
Uh, but we got a high SWR, so what can we do about that? Hmm. I'm going to... A0Z's trying to call me here, so I'm going to stop for a second. Let's let's go to a full 100. Why not? It likes that, though. So it's just because we're adding... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we got a, 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 a negative 19 from Kyle. So let's try and close this out, Kyle. Thanks for... Trying to make a contact here. Going 100 watts now. Got it. Oh, man. A little brighter. Getting a little brighter. Uh, yes, the brightness does. And if you notice, uh, towards the, the farthest right side of that mast, it's the brightest. And then as it's going up the line, that line's actually getting closer to the camera. So, uh, yes, it is, it is going to get brighter. So here's an interesting thing. Why is the tuner not auto tuning when I'm transmitting on the 7610? It should be telling the tuner to do what it needs to do to sort things out there. tuner well that's helpful that doesn't give us a lot okay let's try this okay uh, let's see. Uh, KE0RUJ is trying to call. Fix yourself, Tuner. I'm going to move this camera and you guys can see the... Uh... Michael, you got in there with a contact. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. It's certainly it's certainly getting lit. That's not the question. The question is why isn't the tuner sorting itself out? Whoop, there's the hey, look at that SWR. That's way too high. Lights are going up, but you get, see this, this high SWR? This tuner should be auto trying to sort itself out. Uh, well, that's bypass. We don't want to do that. Okay, let's see if that did it. A little more work than it was doing before. Interesting. I've not had to... Do, okay, so slightly different effect than what I've had to do in the past with the 7300. The 70... Okay, don't know exactly. I probably got something wrong. Of course, this is a live stream. But generally, I um, I just would have the 7300 set to auto-tune, and it would kind of do its thing. It would tell the uh, tuner to sort itself out, but the tuner should be smart enough to like straighten itself out. So what likely is happening is that the tuner is just automatically going to what, oh, we're getting up to Alaska, guys. Oh, buddy. Um, what the tuner think is, thinks is probably going on is that we're just going to use that same uh, layout, that same network configuration for antenna matching. It's just going to reuse it over and over. It's its own memory space. So what I did which I'm, I'm not planning on having to do that all the time, but you know what? I likely will have to. Let me show you what I did really quick. I just held down the tune button on the tuner versus what I would normally do. Oh, let's go over here. I just hold down that button, and that tells the, the tuner from the radio to tune itself up. And by tune, reminder, we got to be very specific, and I'll go to myself on this one. We're not adjusting or tuning the physical length of the antenna. 
we're using the antenna tuner box as a matching unit to make everybody and the radio happy. We're trying to give it that 50 ohm impedance that it is expecting. So really, it's just a trans match device is what we like to call it. Okay, okay. Uh, if if you have the t so how am I pointing the antenna pointing is kind of a, an odd uh, way to look at this I'm um, what's the best way to describe it it is going the length of the wire is going from the low point on the north side and going southeast uh, to the 50 foot vertical and it's an end fed so it's a sloping end fed configuration that is likely, if it's transmitting on the broad side, should be going northeast to southwest if we're on the broad side. But it depends on how it's functioning. I, I got to say, though, we're doing all right with how it's getting out. <laughs> we're, and we haven't, we haven't turned the amp on. Well, the amp's on, but uh, we, haven't, we haven't engaged the amplifier, as it were, which is going to be a whole other process that I'm going to have to take a minute here to get set up. I'll probably switch over to the uh, switch over to the amplifier now. You notice the the lights are illuminating further up now. Now that we've got the tuner has created this match between the transceiver and the antenna, and more of that power is getting out through the lights. That's the idea, anyway. So you're getting more of those lights lit up, and yes, they're brightest still on the closer to the the right side of the screen there when you see it you see how they're lit up more to the right side <laughs> no i'm not gonna be well it depends on what uh time zone you're in but likely not for me because it's uh it's only 5 17 here and i'm calling cq so if you hear me come on in let's make a contact And yes, I moved the camera so the lights would actually work. I am going to zoom in a, a touch here. Try to get around. I don't know what happened to that screen, man. Go hit it with a hose. So what I'm doing is what the antenna is doing when there's not lights connected to it. It's the same process. It's just a wire antenna. In my case, it's a 49 to 1 N-fed antenna. I'm using a 49 to 1 Anun. I picked up the 2000 watt un un from Palomar Engineers. You certainly don't need that for what most of you are doing, but um, it's just an end fed. It's just a long wire. Now we're just kind of treating this as almost like a scientific demonstration of RF in that we're actually illuminating the light bulbs with the power coming out of my radio right now. And this is a hundred watt output. We haven't even gotten to the, to the amplifier yet. Uh, I don't know that turning off the sun is going to help. Can you try to see if we can see better? Well, the problem is, is we'll turn off the sun and we're going to get less uh we're going to get less uh contacts, right? Because 20 meters is going to start to go down. I would like to point out though. So this waterfall right here, that is the the actual uh listening performance of this antenna, which isn't that bad. There's there's not that much noise that it's picking up and it's doing okay if you look at the FTA like the the space and and let me open this up a little bit. Let me go out of here. Let's take it down to, yeah, we'll go to 5K. And if you compare that to my uh, loop antenna, we'll make it 5K as well. My loop antenna has a better uh, noise signal to noise ratio, but uh, it's not that bad. This is one of the better performing antennas that uh, uh, we've had so far, I think. All right. Uh, N8VOX with a potential contact in here. What type of camera am I using for the outside? Oh, good question, Callum. Um, I will, let me pull up the, the, the Amazon for it and I'll show it on the screen uh, in a second. Let me grab that. It, it's actually a pretty good camera. I just, I'm a little unhappy with the, um, you know, they don't, they don't advertise if they're good with being around RF or not. <laughs> That's not really a thing that shows up on the spec sheet, uh, but it's not good close to an antenna. You don't want them too close to the antenna. 
so I moved it. Uh, and the the con the the water that you see on there, I think, is just because of the rain. There we go. We got some lights. All right. Where is the camera I bought? I bought this guy. So uh, as far as price goes, not bad. I'll, I'll copy the link as well and, and throw it in the chat in a second here. Uh-oh, we're not making a con I got to go back to CQ. Got to keep making contacts here before we lose the antenna. And yes, eventually these bulbs will burn out, and, and we will likely see that on the screen when that happens. Okay, so uh, I'm using this. Well, that's not what I wanted you to do at all. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me get this sorted out. I am using this Amazon Poi Poiasi Lawn Solar uh, Camera, and it has a, a light. It has low light mode, and it is like seventy bucks. And it works. It works pretty good. It works pretty well. All right, V5 SAR. Yeah, buddy. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. I'm 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 kind of happy by the performance on this one. Uh Christmas light antennas are bad, guys. This is just really for demonstration purposes than anything. This is like uh the what is it? The 24 hour lemons this is like picking up a car and seeing if you can run for 24 hours this is not a good antenna please don't do this unless you're doing it for strictly demonstration purposes for showing people friends family the the interesting stuff that you can do with radio but just don't do this for the for the uh the sake of doing it okay uh monkey flyer got my tech ticket wednesday kq4 fha i could i couldn't get a 7100 so now, uh, so now is a twenty-seven thirty versus a fifty VIC fifty-one hundred for dedicated two meters and seventy centimeters. Thoughts? Uh, I use the twenty-seven thirty in my shack. It's a nice little FM radio, and if I want to do single sideband on two meters, I generally go to the seven hundred five or something like that. Um, but I don't do a lot of two meter single sideband. It's popular out here though. Uh, I do like APRS on a mobile radio. So if this is consider, if you're considering to good, put this in a car, then you're going to want to um, potentially think about APRS if you haven't been thinking about it, or potentially a digital mode, something along those lines. Those are always a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I have a 2730 ICOM in the shack. Because I don't want to transmit APRS from my shack in a non-moving location, and I have an FTM 400 uh, in the car. Hey, everybody, pour one out for the FTM 400, huh? It's gone. No longer going to be produced. Notice I said no longer in production versus discontinued. Um, also for the FT 818, end of an era. So press uh, F in the chat. For our, for our two lost radio brothers, the FTM-400 and the FT-818. Oh, take it easy, Callum. Love you, bud. Happy New Year. It's already New Year over there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, F in the chat just exploded. Thank you. Um, yeah, I... I'm at the same time, I'm not surprised by either one of them no longer being in production. And of course, the chip shortage is taking out radios that we expected could have been around a lot longer, like the FT3DR. Yesu already dealt with this, you know, as well as the, um, the ID52, the ICOM. They had to be redeveloped, if you will, to subtly change parts that had difficult access. Wow, the SWR actually dropped, so that... 
probably not good. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> Um, if you, if you want, so uh, by the way, thank you for the super chat. Let me go back up and ask and figure out who that was that sent it. Monkey flyer. So if you're talking about in a car or a base station, what your budget is, all of those things help a lot. So if you add that, I'll try and come back around and help you out a little bit since you did send a super chat. Thanks for that. Appreciate you. But I'll answer all your questions anyway, as long as you know, I can, we're, we're doing a, a thing here. Um, point, interesting note though, look at the waterfall between these two antennas and they're, um, they are pointed differently and they're actually seeing different signals. That's pretty interesting to me. In fact, I'm going to rotate my, um, loop a little bit and see if we get a little bit different action. Uh, no. Good. Thank you for checking and your concern. But no, we we don't have lightning out here. Hardly ever. I know. What did I just do? I just said that on a live stream. Uh, Jeff Jones. Oh, there's so many rumors of brewing on that. John Crook was was really you know clear that his statement was uh just simply based off of those radios no longer being in production because of the chip shortage and that he could not confirm or deny that they are working on a QRP radio. The rumor mills abound. I have heard that they are, uh, but that is all I really know is that they're working on something new. Do I think that's like 2023 or anything like that? I, I, I've got no more information than that. I can't. I cannot confirm or deny. Yeah, Jimbo, uh, last year I did a 40-meter antenna. Today, uh, this year was 20. We we might try when we kick it over to um, – when we kick it when we kick the amp on, which I'm going to do here shortly, I might – 20 meters is actually starting to die. I may have to – I may do that. We may have to go to 40. Maybe I belay the amp on 20 and we go to 40. Hmm. Yeah, Michael. Yes, exactly. So I'm actually I've I've crippled my radio. The lights illumination is is that's my RF. So I'm losing power into those lights. So yes, the the lights are being powered by the RF energy of my radio. But you know, that's the fun of this, right? All right, we're going to go off script a little bit and we're going to try out um we're going to try out 40 after this contact. KC9ZMY, we're going to try and wrap this up. And, oh, it's pretty. We're reaching out, though, still in the East Coast. Uh-oh. Oh, the screen was just not. So this camera still is having issues. Um, I apologize for that. It seems like it lags a bit, and that might be because of its uh, connection to Wi-Fi. But the lights are still working, so we're we're gonna stop. We're gonna not worry about too much about it. I don't know what that horizontal line is that just showed up on the screen. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. It's the RF, man. It's killing it. Uh, great question, Digital Dreamer. So kind of, sort of, yes, no. What happens often is as the lights start to burn, the SWR climbs and we have to constantly retune. And then it's almost effectively like we're continually shortening the antenna. Uh, okay. <laughs> so what Christmas lights are you using? The ones I tried myself burn out around 30 watts. So I'm going to, I'm, I made a long, well, hopefully not too long. I'm going to, I'm going to, get it brought down a little bit. Uh, I made a video on how I build this antenna. And a lot of people, there were comments abound on what I do and all that stuff. 
So enough of you found it interesting. I, I made a video and to explain what it is. I'm using, well, I'll just show you. It's basically these guys. They have to be the incandescent twinkle lights. You could use the big bulbs if you want to. Those are just going to be bigger inductors, um, which is going to just suck up more of the RF uh, energy. I have found that those little small twinkle lights work just as fine. Kevin, 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 Kevin. The thing that uh, the thing that really I have to reiterate, right? So if you look at a, a string of lights, uh, KC9, ZMY, I'm not, you are coming in at a negative 21 to me and it's getting worse. So, oh wait, you just, you just came up. All right, we'll try again. Um, the thing that I have to reiterate is that when you get your string of lights, you snip the plugs off and then you're going to have three leads, two bare leads that are just insulated wire and then one wire that'll have the lights on. You actually separate them. You want the string of lights separated and you cut the string of lights free and then you splice all the strings of lights together until you get the length of light you're looking for. And then it's just a wire. You treat it like just a, oh my gosh, a negative 18. We got it. Okay. Well, everybody, I think we're going to try for 40. All right. <laughs> Jason, KB1 WSE. I, oh man, I towards uh, 160 full wave next year. Not in my not in my house. I'd have to alert the neighborhood. <laughs> it's not gonna work, man. Uh, okay. Well, let's let's give it a shot here. So we're gonna go to forty. We got that seven three. Thank you. We're getting way more signals on forty. That's that's for sure. Uh, I'm gonna bring the power down, and let's try and tune it up and see what happens. It found a match. <laughs> so what we're going to see here, and you, um, w w let's hit the tune button and see what happens. Uh, not that different. I think it is actually affecting the, uh, the camera, though, even that far away. So we're at 50 watts. We're going to transmit, and we're going to work our way back up to 100, and then we'll turn the amp on. I'll have to retune the amp for... Um, we'll have to retune the amp. There we go. And I'm going to bring down the time here as well to five minutes. So we've reset the, the distance of who's hearing us. Oh, <laughs> I'm a dork, man. I just realized that um, that horizontal line you're seeing, I thought that was some kind of glitch in the video for the camera. It's the step IR boom <laughs> elements. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's bad. It started getting dark, and I'm like, hey, what's that? We got some kind of problem. Uh-oh. I'm not seeing lights. It's getting out. All right, we'll go up to 75 watts. There we go. Oh, see, now the light's going all the way up. That's what 40 gets you, right? Longer. Longer wavelength, we got more of the lights lit up. 40 is always better for these. I have to remind myself, no more 20 meter antennas. We got to just build 40. So yeah, remember everybody watching, if you just tuned in, I'm using the power of my radio to illuminate these lights. That's it. There's there's nothing else going on. And I'm going to move frequency here a little bit because somebody's playing FTH shenanigans. Look at those signals, though. Look at these signals here. Got a lot of signals. Both antennas are hearing a lot of noise or a lot of uh, activity. Yeah, lights all the way up. You can't. You, you can kind of see it, and hopefully, 
maybe the camera's softening a bit, but there's there's a water drip on there that's causing some kind of problems. All right. Let's say we go to 100. What will happen then? Uh, Lee, I generally don't count them by lights. I generally count by, let's see. Yeah, there we go. It's getting brighter. I don't count by lights. Oh, yeah, and the camera's freaking out. <laughs> I count by length. So just the, the total length of wire is generally how I count. And thanks, everybody, for watching. 500 people watching right now. Appreciate you. Thanks for that. Wow, we made a... Uh, that's not bad. I mean, that's local. That's local, boy. N6 UOP. Negative 11. That's not bad at all. Jack Cotto got my FT5 DR Gordon Book signal stick antenna taking my tech test next month. This is your fault. I hope you're happy. Buy once, cry once. I'm very happy that you're joining us on this wonderful lifelong hobby. It's a great ride. Uh, you can do all kinds of stupid things like I'm doing right now, and you can have a lot of fun with doing parks on the air and a number of other things too. So, you know, all that good stuff. Absolutely. Glad you're joining us. Appreciate the super chat. Kenny Ray, $10 for the step IR boom trolling the live feed. <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. I appreciate it. All right. We got to, we got to, you know what? We're going to, we're going to do the thing. We're going to amp up here in a second. Let's close out this contact. Oh, 45 auto. Thanks for that. Appreciate you. If you if you give me a like, I appreciate it. Thanks for that. This does take some amount of work to do these live streams. And this one, these ones in particular are always kind of a labor of love for me because I enjoy doing it. But if you consider last week's failure and this week, the success, it feels pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy right now. Uh, yeah, I can try to do a CW contact, but my CW is not great. I kind of want to just blow them up with a, with the, <laughs> to be honest. But I was using CW to to check them. That's generally what I use. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's you know Amazon's pretty good with returns, but we'll see how that goes. A lot of people hearing a lot of people, a lot of signals in there. Uh, K E zero R U J. I'm hearing you at negative twenty, so not a great contact uh, between us. And and again, it's it's likely my end. A seven six two, my favorite number. Thank you for the super chat. Have a happy new year. If you decide CW, I'm game. All right, I yeah, I I appreciate it. We we gotta get to the amp though. As much as I love CW, it doesn't make for great live stream. Maybe? I don't know. You guys <laughs> you guys tell me. Uh single cab, not necessarily. So oddly enough, if you've if you go back, by the way, reminder, this is the fifth year I've been doing this. I've been I've been doing these antennas for five years now. And what we've seen on some of the longer strings that could function in multi-band capability, we've actually seen where they were dim and then brighter and then dimmed out. And so that's more of the length of the wire that I was working with and uh, and the, the bandwidth of the, the transmission frequency, which, oddly, you know, a, a cool little, again, cool little demo that we got to see live when we were doing it. Oh, that was a fun one. I think that was last year's actually. All right, VE5SAR, let's get that contact. I think I'm, oh no, we're still trying. You know what? I, I'm sorry, I got to switch. I got to go with the negative three right now. VE5SAR has got a, a big signal. Let's see if we can close that that uh, that contact down. Five hundred twenty-one watching now. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Oh, don't tell me you bailed out on me. Let's 
trying to make this contact. Oh, did I miss a super chat? Uh oh, sorry. I did. Killing, killing one ten. Sorry, man. Appreciate you. Got my GMRS uh, or license earlier this month. Just got my radio today. A B Tech G GMRS V two. Well, hey, thank you, buddy. You're joining the fraternity of radio, and that's all that's important to me. I appreciate you. So thanks for that. Now I got to go back even further and make sure I didn't miss any other super chats. Thanks again, guys. Appreciate you. Oh, Jody can't hear me anymore. Jody, you're super loud, but oh man, we got to going to have to switch. I I'm not switching because I don't want to make a contact with you, but I want to make I want to see if I can how many contacts I can make. Uh it'll literally the lights will flash when I do CW. Oh, Jody only saw me to negative 24. That's why. Right? I'm sure they'd love that if I did that. Just string it right across the street, man. Hey, Traveling Light. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, 308. Ah, I see what you did there. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. All right. Let's, uh, oh, man. All right. You're going to, we're going to, we got to switch. I'm sorry. We're going, we got to go to K Booty. Unless uh, KI, who is it? KI5, KI5 PQX, if you come back with a signal report, I'll close it out with you. Otherwise, I got to switch to booty. All right, don't worry. We're going to, we're going to hit the tune. We're going to hit the amp right now. I'm pretty happy with the consistency right now. We're looking pretty good. We've got, you can see we're, the tuner is doing its job, which is what we want. Because honestly, uh, even if, even if you built the best antenna possible, if you had your SWR or your antenna analyzer out there and you were constantly adjusting the links, the SWR never really gets low because the length of wire is just coated in inductors. Okay, oh, booty can't hear me. You're a negative four K booty. All right, I'm going to take a pause and tune up this amp so that we can have some real fun. Or we'll pop them. <laughs> so we're going to pause here. Uh, everybody hold on to your contacts. So first thing we got to do is make sure we lower the power way down. Way, way down. 35 watts is generally what this thing wants to see. Um, and we're going to adjust our, our plate and our grid here. Okay. Okay kind of in the ballpark. Now, what I like to do too is I hop down frequency a bit. And now I am going to use CW just to get things going. Uh, let's retune at the radio. Seems okay. And we'll do a full tune on the tuner. It seems okay. It doesn't want to change anything. So let's do a power check here. Okay. Not doing it yet. Hold on. Not there yet. We're walking it in. Got to be really careful with this because it's will blow the bulbs up. Okay. 
<laughs> you see how it got a little brighter there at the end? <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to go with the strongest signal, which is a local W6DSG to me. Let's, let's go ahead and see if we can do a contact with them. Okay, here we go. And I haven't, I haven't really amped it up yet. We're just over 100 watts. We're going to start going incrementally. Or we'll just lose the whole thing. That also happens. Here we go. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, because I'm not... Jeez. It helps if you're on the frequency there, dog. Thank you. I need to have you as a producer. I'm literally hand adjusting the, the amp. That's why you're seeing the, the flutter. I'm going to get it all straight, and then we're going to start incrementally adding. Let's get the mic in here a little bit. Okay. We're in flavor country. All right, we're going to go up two. So we're at 46 watts. Okay, we're over. That's 200. 200 watts output. We're getting there. Hold on. <coughs> I still got to walk this in. I'm not happy with the tune. I don't like with the. Okay, that's too much. We got to back that back down a second. <laughs> that was a little too much. We're not there yet. <laughs> All right, hold on. We gotta we gotta pause. We gotta pause for a second. Let's do a tune. Did we lose them? Did that already happen? I'm gonna call CQ. There we go. She's a lit now, boys. We got it. We got it too, did. That's what we're talking about right now. That's what I want to see. So let's let's uh let's pivot this a little bit. Oh, the camera's totally <laughs> It's not responding. <laughs> it's like <laughs> the camera doesn't know what to do. <laughs> I think I killed it. So that's full all the way up, all the way up on 40 meters. Look at how bright it is at the end. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> All 
All right, here we go. This is this is the money shot right here. Come on. Uh oh, did we lose them? There we go. <laughs> Reminder, we're going to go to the uh, Discord after chat on this. Uh, we're going to hang out for a little while, but there's a party going on. Uh, you can't use LED for this. You cannot use LED. Uh, we're going to go, oh, K-A-7-L-A-N. Or, sorry, K-7-L-A-N. Negative 14 in Cincy. Let's go. I'm going to embiggen this. So that's literally the brightness. And reminder, that big burst of light, that's the furthest light away from what you see right now. Okay? So it's getting a little crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching everything. I've got the SWR meter. I'm looking at the... So I'm looking at my power meter, my dual needle meter. That's the most important thing. Oh. There we go. That's 400 watts. We're at 400 watts output now. Now we're making some contacts. <laughs> All right, who's next? Uh, yeah, that should be, that's 300 watts actually, so we can go a little bit more. Hey, James Miller says, Happy New Year, still loving the KN990. Right on, man, I'm glad you enjoy it. So apparently the party that is at my house is a surprise party. So don't don't tell the person who just showed up and everybody's screaming surprise in the background <laughs> while I'm live streaming. Uh, yes. Tim, I believe that is correct. Highest uh, voltage is at the ballon and the highest current is at the... Uh, at the end. That's funny. Somebody said KI6 plus 99. <laughs> we got it. We got it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I was able to make this work. I got to keep an eye on things, though, because it was that was a little sketch. The, so lights start to like pop and go out, and then it changes the SWR, and then I got to retune. All right, who's next? K7. Ooh, wow. N4ATU, you got a huge signal. Uh-oh. Did we lose it? We might have lost it. We might have lost it. I am Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu. Uh, Yeah, but it's an N-Fed, so. Uh-oh. Lights, lights have gone out. We've lost lights. Okay, we got to halt for a second. Let's retune. Okay, hold on. Take this out of transmit. Okay. Okay. 
seems happy, so we've got to readjust. The camera's bugged out. There we go. The camera's fixed itself. All right, let's uh, do that again. Let's do the tune. Okay, let's take it back on the amp. Okay, that's about the spot. We are showing a 1.5 SWR now. So let's go with that uh, until we lose more. All right, N4 POD, here we go, coming at you. So you see we lost the really bright ones on the far right side of the screen. Those are gone now. The bulbs are gone, but somehow it's still an antenna, so the brightness has moved down the line. This might be all she wrote, though. Oh, no, she's still got it in her. She's still going. She still chooches. And for POD, we got you there. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, man, I love it when these things work out. I love it when they work out. And we're still getting heard pretty okay. This is This is by far the best performing antenna so far. We got you, Jeff. All right, who's next? Uh, N4 ATU. Let's go back to you, man. Let's see if we can close this out. Because you're still like plus seven to me. The anticipation. Ah, it's still going. Still going. All right, you know what? We're going to... I'm going to go up one watt. The amp is happy, which is the biggest thing I care about. I'm keeping the I'm keeping the gauges right in the middle, so we're, we're good. I'm tuning it. So if you want to watch, I did a video on tuning up an amplifier, specifically the Ameritron AL811H. It explains the process if you're working with a tube-based amplifier, what you need to do when you're tuning it. And in this case, I'm tuning for maximum power. Out. Oh, we lost it. <laughs> Did we lose it? <laughs> we lost the camera. The camera is like, I'm out. I'm out, dog. <laughs> oh, no, the camera's gone. <laughs> I didn't think the camera would die before the Christmas lights, to be honest. I'm flying blind without the camera. Now I just got the SWR meter to tell me what's going on. All right. Still good. We're still, we're still, oh, SWR's creeping up. Okay, we're back. We're back on the camera. Can we get it back? We're back. Maybe. Maybe we're back. If the camera stops, oh shoot, we lost. We lost more lights. Come on, camera. Okay, camera is fully officially back. <laughs> but the screen is not. Okay, hold on. Let, let's I'm going to pause transmit for a second. Camera's back. All right, here we go. <laughs> I love it. I love it. 
Oh, we've lost a considerable amount of RF, though, here. There we go. We've lost more bulbs. You see the light is starting to climb? See that? We're losing bulbs. So it stopped transmitting, but the camera is definitely not happy with this situation. It's stuck. It, it takes a second for it to catch up. Now I'm just now I'm just transmitting into Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah, it's not good. No, this is not. It's not happy times for this thing. Hey, James Cohen, thank you for the super chat. Does the Navy on North Island know it's you? <laughs> yeah, I got to let him know. <laughs> Okay, we've balanced plate and grid again. Still making contacts, though, so this is a little bit ridiculous, to be honest. We're going to keep going until we pop these things. Remember, join us on the Discord. You've got plenty of time to go click that link. It's in the description for this video. Uh, it's a voice chat. It's a text chat. You can ask ham radio questions. That's our goal is to help make sure that you have the best path forward. W7, uh, KRG, you got a huge signal. Let's see if we can make a contact here. Yeah, see, we're losing more lights. You see how the lights started to creep up the line? That's what happens. Uh, but, yeah, that's our goal is to help you, you, uh, get started in ham radio or really any radio hobby. Join the fraternity of of ham, of ham radio operators, but my preference is ham radio. Love it if you'd join us out there. <laughs> so the good news for me is that from all of this, we're still good. God, it's crazy. Oh my gosh, it's actually got the antenna has gotten better. <laughs> the antenna has started performing better. 40 meters has opened up more is all that is. Oh, we're losing more. We're losing them. Uh, <laughs> I love doing these, man. I love these. Oh, I got a big smile on my face. It takes a lot to make me smile like this. And this is this is always the highlight. Yep. Yep, still still about 250, showing 250 on the tuner, showing 250 on the power meter, my outbound power meter. So the last thing, oh, SWR just stepped up again. We started losing more lights. You can see it. They're, like, disappearing. Um, Great question. Uh, Misha. So I think that the the big bulbs would would be brighter, but I don't think they would be better at making contacts because there's less wire and those are well same amount of wire, but they're bigger inductors, so they're going to suck out more power. All right, K seven EBO. Here we go. Red lines are people calling me actively and. Uh, Oh shoot, we lost lost another one. Uh we might have just lost it. Might have just lost it. We'll see on this next this next pass. We're gonna pause here. I think we lost him. Yep. Let me just let everything calm down for a second. Hopefully a car drives by. That's how we know that it's a... Uh... Edison Labs. That's not... Come on, car, drive by. We need a car to drive by so I know that the camera is still alive because the, the time is not incrementing right now. <laughs> the clock on the camera should be incrementing seconds. Let's see if it... The camera controls do nothing. 
The camera does nothing. <laughs> it's very unhappy. So this is the, I will say this about this camera. Um, it has no problem if you're just transmitting on a regular antenna, but if you're transmitting on a Christmas light antenna, it's not very happy. Oh, wait, do we get it? Did it just... <laughs> Camera's dead again, guys. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, we're past the hour. So we, we've achieved our goal. All right, I gotta, I'm going to kill the app. Camera is offline! <laughs> oh, he's back! Camera's back! All right, let's... That is a wall of red on FT8, man. Here we go. Hold on. Let's get the camera back here. This is funny, man. Oh, it's still there! Wow, it's still there. We're still we're still doing it. We're still doing it. It's I can't believe it, man. All right, let's uh let's look for some oh we got uh let's see. Let's go for some DX. We go for some Canadian DX. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, camera, don't fail me now. Camera, yes. <laughs> We're losing so many lights. We're literally walking it up the line right now. Now, this did not happen in previous years. In previous years, when we started losing a significant amount of bulbs, the entire antenna was done. Yeah, we're losing them. We're losing them. You can see them. You can see them pop. I love it. Uh, uh, no. So, so good question. No. So the lights pop, but there's still enough wire in the game and the connections that the RF is just continuing to go. So this antenna is completely inefficient. I Come on. There it is. There she goes. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> these are always the best. You'll see the most joy in my face making these lights die. <clears throat> oh, I love it. All right, we're not making contacts with them. Uh, VE5, SAR, you're back. We can try and make a contact. Cause, oh, let's see. Somebody's just randomly calling CQ. I'm going to see if I can hit them. <laughs> Oh, this is really cool. Like, it's it's a really fun demonstration for people. So I'll, I'll, when I set these up, I'll have, like, family or whatever go outside and look at them. They're like, what are you doing? Oh, there they go. There they go. We're losing them. Yep, we're losing them. Oh, the SWR has climbed way up, too. It's at two now. Two to one. Hey, I got the contact. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Uh, let's 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 stop this. We're good. Let's see if we get the 73 back. I, I think we will do that. All right. 
Um, what the hell? I'm going to try CW. I'm so bad at this, though. So this is all going to be my failing failing at this point. But let's... Uh, what time do we got? We're a little bit over time. Lost the camera again. Camera's gone. Come back. Camera, come back. Oh, my Digimon just uh, did something. I, I bought Digimon for the kids. The 20th anniversary Digimon. <laughs> All right, camera. Is that the one I want? Elgato Capture? Yeah, it is. Yep, that's it. All right, we need that uh, camera back here. Camera's back. All right. I don't know how well this is going to work. Let me see. Camera, come on. Full duty cycle is going to be a little intense for this, so we're going to drop this down a bit. We might have lost the antenna here. I think we lost her. Oh my gosh, was still there, but it's the very tip. Did you see the very tip of the antennas, the last little bit? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, right now I'm on 7.062. I, there's literally nothing left of this thing. Look at the look at the light. Okay, ready, ready. Somebody's calling. <laughs> that antenna, this antenna has put it, 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 it wanted to pay me back from how badly it did me last weekend. Oh, I'm so bad at CW. You can't go that fast with me. Who's ever trying? If you're, if you're trying to call me, you're way too fast. Um, no, you're too quiet, man. I can't, I know you're there.
All right. I don't know if you're talking to me, and I'm 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 going up to seven point zero eight eight. All right, digital dreamer. <laughs> That's even too slow for me. This camera is so bad right now. You're in there, but you're really quiet. Oh. I can't copy you. I know somebody's in there. Um, let me do... I, I, did a, oh, I did a CQ, but it was a pretty bad one. Let me do it again, because I want to see if I get picked up by the reverse beacon. Oh. <laughs> I want to see if I hit reverse beacon. I got a K. Got a K with a D in it somewhere. Nobody spotted me. Oh, <laughs> nobody did. <laughs> 301 miles. <laughs> I've been spotted. For everybody that wants to do CW, this is the worst situation because it's a horrible antenna. I uh, let's let's do a uh, let let's let's do a live stream where we do CW, and I'll I'll make a better go at it because I can't. You're in there. I can. I got a couple of characters, but I can't. No, it's too bad. I, I gotta wear I gotta wear cans on to do the whole thing. I'm not gonna be able to do it right now. I apologize for bailing on you in that one. But um Okay, well I apologize. I kinda miffed it on the CW. Let's do a live stream where we just do CW. We'll make it like the second or third uh in January. First week in January though is patron picks, and that vote has completed. So I'm gonna go find out what that is going to be. Uh camera's all screwed up. Camera's not happy. Cameraman is is out of, is is gone to bed. He's union, you know. He's he's at the craft tent right now, uh, getting some food. Uh, <laughs> sorry about the CW, but man, oh man, I am so happy this worked. It it worked, it worked way better than I expected. This hair is really bugging me. Get out of there. Uh, I, way better than I expected. I'm I'm super over the moon over all this. So I cheers you all. Happy happy New Year. I hope you decide to join us over on the after chat. I'm gonna head over there right now. And we got like 400 people still watching. That's just crazy. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your time off. Uh, for those of you going back to work next week, next week like me, for all you kids, enjoy your time off because, who, buddy, life comes at you fast. And I hope you really appreciate the time you have with your loved ones and everybody around you. So I'm going to go say hi to a couple of loved ones right now for their birthday. And then I'll be back on in about 10, 15 minutes for the after chat. Not going to be a long one, but um, there's also a lot going on tonight. You still want to make sure you hit up Jason Ham Radio 2.0's channel for his New Year's live stream, which is going to start, I think, at 8 or 9. Uh, either way, we're not going to step on each other. I'll, I'll make sure we, you know, we, we move things around a little bit uh, to be cool with him. So, all right, here we go with the patrons. Thank you so much, guys. And, yeah, newsletter... 
I got to get that done real quick here, and then uh, that will be uh, going out pretty soon. Appreciate you all on the Discord. Thank you for all the support. Allow me to do dumb stuff like this. So if you did enjoy uh, this, you can consider Patreon. But hey, I'm just happy with you subscribing. If you could do that, that'd be amazing. Thank you so much for, for watching. And uh, yeah, we, we sometimes get up to shenanigans like this, and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Man, camera. This cam, I mean, it's a $60, $70 waterproof camera that's like a surveillance cam. You can't expect a whole lot when it's that cheap, but it does do a night shot and it does, it has a light on it and it has a microphone. It's relatively loud. Not bad, but not great either. Well, thank you for everybody that's still Patreon. I appreciate that, all you guys. Uh, it's $2 a month and you at least get the new the newsletter, which that's the only way to get it because, um, I need all the help I can get when it comes to writing stuff. Not my thoughts, but my my actual grammar. <laughs> so my wife helps me out a lot with that. <laughs> uh, oh, is there people doing parks on the air at midnight? That's super cool. Yeah, time to upgrade the camera. I probably will. And uh, note note for next year, always 40 meters. We're only going to do 40 meters from now on. Hey, thank you, Tennessee gun fixer. Hey, Tennessee gun fixer. I appreciate that. Very cool. All right, guys. Uh, again, if if I don't talk to you for the rest of the evening because you're going to go enjoy your time uh, before the new year, I appreciate you. Thanks. Have a good rest of the year, and I'll talk to you later. 73. The man, the myth, the legend. Am Radio DX. One of... Three hams, including myself, that would, would go to a, a ham club meeting in drag. <laughs> Actually, I'm speaking on behalf of Hayden. He hasn't confirmed that. Mike and I said we would, though. But, you know, I, Hayden's a good sport. I, I, I bet he would. <laughs> Thank you for your support, man. Oh, there we go. We're good. We're, we're in there. All right. He's down. Maybe when you come, uh, when you come to the States... Whatever ham fest it is, we, we go and drag. <laughs> That'll be the ticket. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great rest of your evening, and I will talk to you later. Uh, look forward to, and I'll show you this really quick before I, I wrap it up. Let me, let, me, let me do this. There we go. There we go. Lock that up. And boom. I got a microscope. Look at that. It's got a screen. And there's a PCB down there for a project I'm working on. We're going to be talking about that soon. All right, everybody. Have a great evening.